Bitcoin has seen an absolutely insane run in the last year or so. It's over doubled in price in this time frame, largely due to the Bitcoin ETF approval in the United States, which is a historic, unprecedented event for Bitcoin that people have been talking about for the better part of a decade. Comparing it to the gold ETF, which corresponded to an insane explosion in the gold price, thinking that things could happen exactly this way for Bitcoin and other crypto assets. Now, things have cooled off slightly since the ETF launched, but I believe this is just the beginning of something major. But what about a Ethereum. During this time, you know, Ethereum has kind of lagged behind and people are wondering like, is it dead? What's the upside potential for this asset? Well, I believe we can see something very similar to happen for Ethereum that can push the cryptocurrency well beyond its prior all-time high, making it a mainstream asset held by many. And so in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why we could see a massive Ethereum tsunami in the coming months and years. And I'm explaining all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis and a long-time ETH holder, you know, myself. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the insane opportunity happening in blockchain right now, the best way to do that is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about the path for Ethereum becoming a mainstream asset that can explode in price in the coming months and years. So, of course, nothing I'm saying in this video is not to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. I'm not a financial advisor. You should consult with one before you make any purchases. But laying the foundation for this, you know, we've seen what's happened with the Bitcoin price in the last year. It's over doubled. All right. And one of the biggest reasons for this is because of the Bitcoin ETF approval in the United States. So if you're not familiar with the ETF, basically it just stands for Exchange Traded Fund. And the whole idea here is that you can buy Bitcoin uh, with shares uh, through traditional financial ecosystem. Uh, kind of like you buy an index fund or uh, shares in gold. Okay, so if you go on exchange and you buy the GLD ticker, you're not actually buying gold, you're buying underlying shares. And speaking of gold, you know, whenever it launched uh, back, you know, in the early 2000s, that corresponded with a massive run up in the gold price over the coming decade. And so can the same thing happen for Bitcoin and more importantly, the topic of this video, Ethereum? So my view is yes, here's why. So leading in charge with the ETF approvals in the United States is the major institutional asset manager, BlackRock, okay? This is a $10 trillion asset manager with nearly 100% approval rate for their ETFs. And they further this track record by getting their Bitcoin ETF approved. And I want to stress how absolutely monumental this is because people have been talking about this for the better part of a decade, okay? It's been a hot topic of conversation ever since I entered into the space in 2017. And it's been a massive fight to get here. And now it's mainstream. And the Bitcoin ETF approval or the anticipation of that approval has been one of the biggest reasons, in my view, why we've seen Bitcoin over double in price in the last year with a big parabolic run uh, right before the approval date. Because we've seen, uh, you know, multiple applications in the pipeline has really heated up in the last year with BlackRock throwing their name in the hat. And yes, we've seen things kind of taper off and cool off around this approval deadline, but I think it's just the beginning. And during this time, you know, Ethereum is lagged behind, but you can see a big jump in the price right after the Bitcoin ETF was approved. And I believe one of the reasons for this is the anticipation of an Ethereum ETF coming down the pipeline. And I think it's very likely that we're going to see one go live this year just like Bitcoin, here's why. So just like Bitcoin did, we have multiple applications in the pipeline for an Ethereum spot ETF, okay, including BlackRock. And if they continue with their near 100% success rate for approval, uh, then it's very likely that it's going to get approved. So when could this happen? Well, I think it's going to happen this year. So if you look at these, they have approval deadlines for the SEC. That's who approves the ETFs. And they have final deadlines. And the final deadlines start in you know, May of this year with many different entities who already have Bitcoin ETFs approved. And then down here, you see BlackRock with their final deadline in August. And so from my view, the timeline for this is sometime in between May and August. There's a high chance it could happen in May, but if it doesn't, then I still expect we'd see it happen by August. And one thing that's really important to understand here and why I think this is actually gonna go through is that the basis for approving the ETFs is essentially the same as Bitcoin. And the whole reason for that is you know, this is a spot ETF where you're actually buying uh, shares that represent underlying Bitcoin. 
And we already have something called futures ETS, where you're essentially betting on what the future price of the cryptocurrency is going to be. And the fact that we already had futures ETFs is one of the main reasons we got this spot ETF approved. Because uh, DC Circuit Court finds the SEC acted arbitrarily and capriciously in disapproving the prior Bitcoin spot ETF applications. And again, I'm not a legal expert, but the whole idea here was they're saying, look, you already approved futures ETS for this. Like you've you've got to you've got to approve the spot ETFs too. And I think the same thing's going to happen for Ethereum. We already have the Ethereum futures ETFs, and they're probably going to have to approve spot ETFs for the same reason. And if they do, and their hand is forced, then the final deadlines are coming up pretty soon, and they're all inside of 2024, sometime in the middle. And so, if that assumption is correct, and we do see these deadlines on the horizon, we do see approvals. Uh, what's going to happen with the price? Okay, so again. You know, this is not zombie financial advice. Nobody's got a crystal ball, but let me just kind of give you my thought process through it. So first of all, we need to look forward to the approval deadline somewhere between, you know, May and, you know, August as our anchor point. Okay. And if we look what happened uh, with Bitcoin with these approval deadlines, that's when we saw the largest price appreciation was in, in, in anticipation for this approval deadline. So I think it's very possible that we see the same type of thing happen for Ethereum, or we start to see significant price performance ahead of these deadlines. So in the next four months to six, seven, eight months, as long as there's no ETF approved yet, and we see this deadline looming on the horizon, there's probably going to be people trying to front run this opportunity and catch that wave before it goes live. How high the price is going to go, you know, nobody really knows for sure. If the same thing happened to Ethereum and did Bitcoin, it wouldn't quite reach its all-time high, but it'd get pretty close. But we do have the Bitcoin halving coming up, and if the entire crypto market goes insane before that time, then it could push well past its all-time high. But either way, I, I think the direction is up, especially assuming if we don't have some type of like another apocalyptic event inside the crypto space or some big economic problem that causes all assets to take in value. And so that makes me bullish for the coming months, but what about after that? Okay. Well, I think Bitcoin and Ethereum both, uh, w once ETFs are, are approved, can actually be huge for the price. Well, why is that? Well, the number one reason is incentives. Okay, there's a famous Charlie Munger quote that says, show me the incentives and I'll show you the outcome. And I believe this is the number one reason. So let me show you why. So going back to BlackRock, okay, it's one of the leading players in this space with their ETFs. Okay, they have huge incentives to get their customers into these ETS. Now, I'm not exactly an expert in how their business model works, but I do know that they make money off fees, whether that's through essentially selling people shares in the ETFs once they purchase them or sell them, all right? Uh, and the possibility of ongoing management fees inside of that. And so that's gonna be a big revenue generator for them. And so they have incentive to sell and keep assets under management. That's likely going to attract a large part of the capital that they control into these ETFs and therefore put buy pressure on the assets and make them go up. Not only that, now that they have these ETFs approved, they want them to be successful. And that's another reason why I think we'll continue to see capital flow into this space over the long term. And don't forget, you know, BlackRock is a $10 trillion asset manager. Just picture that, okay? The entire crypto market at the time of recording this video is about $1.5 trillion dollars. That's six to seven times the entire crypto market cap. So if you want to visualize that, basically take a website like coingecko.com, coinmarketcap.com, and then just put six or seven different browser windows on your screen and visualize that. It's massive. And even if a fraction of that money goes into crypto, it will have a big impact on the price. And so how does that shake out in the long term? Well, I don't think it's just going to go up in a straight line, okay? Oftentimes, the expectations can exceed reality, especially in the short term, and that's one of my views as to why I think we're seeing this short-term cool-off in the markets. But with these incentives that I'm talking about, I think that it can ca cause the price to go up. Uh, think about it this way. You know, if they start off and they say like, all right, we've got $10 trillion of assets or management. Let's say we get just 20% of all those customers to actually convert into a 1% allocation, okay? And then we start upping that allocation to 2%, to 3%, to 5%. And then we get more of a share of all the customers invested in these products then that's a long-term growth trajectory with steady increase over time. Not just a short flash in the pan price movement. And again, I don't think it's gonna be a straight line up. We'll probably still see some volatility along the way. But another caveat is, you know, if things go absolutely parabolic in the crypto space, particularly if we break old all-time highs for something like Bitcoin and Ethereum, we can see things go up in a straight line for a while, okay? Basically just because crypto is a very reflexive asset. And when things break all-time highs, 
they typically end up going bananas. But if this does happen, we'll probably pay for it on the downside, just like we've seen in the past. But anyway, you slice it. I believe there's a bright future on the horizon for the Ethereum price, that the ETF is one of the main reasons for this and that they're likely going to get approved sometime mid this year. And that's going to change the game for crypto as an asset class overall, making it more mainstream, including a massive price impact for Bitcoin and also more importantly, Ethereum, which is the topic of this video. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are we going to see an Ethereum ETF approved? Is it going to be this year? Will it be bullish for the Ethereum price? What about the long term? I want to hear from you down in the comment section below. And whenever you're done, make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to take advantage of all the crazy opportunity that's happening in crypto right now, the best way is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you do that step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.